All right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Milwaukee 4822-2880 multi-bit screwdriver. Now, I recently decided to pick this guy up at Home Depot, um, not that because I needed it. I just was looking uh, to see what Milwaukee had to offer for a multi-bit screwdriver and decided to go ahead and check this guy out because um, it kind of matches some of their newer uh, USA-made screwdrivers. Now, this isn't made in the USA. Um, but I kind of want to see how it was um, to see kind of how I like the feel of it to see if I like the USA made uh, Screwdrivers that Milwaukee has to offer now. I'm not sure if this one is made in China or if it is made in Taiwan I wasn't paying too much attention uh, to the packaging uh, when I got it um, So we'll go ahead and take a look at the screwdriver uh, right now So you have that standard uh, hard rubber over molding around the um, Basically the handle of the screwdriver and you have the red is like a hard little plastic um, but it does feel quite comfortable in the hands. Now, the one thing I do like about it is they label the top of it. So if you have it in a tool bag uh, with a bunch of other screwdrivers, you're going to be able to pick it out fairly easily. And like I said in the intro to the video, this is the 13-in-1. Um, and it's pretty much uh, like a standard, um, you know, 11-in-1 multi-bit driver, 6-in-1 multi-bit driver. This is just Milwaukee's uh, version of it. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you the functionality of the tool. Uh, so this does have a half inch uh, nut driver on it and that is in the handle right here. Uh, and you can see down in there, it's almost hollow all the way through uh, to there. And then this is the shaft. You have your part number uh, right there for the screwdriver. And now this right here is your 5 16 nut driver. Uh, so if you had some 5 16 screws you need to remove, uh, this is the end you're going to want to use. Uh, and then you do have your quarter inch nut driver, which is uh, both ends of this piece right here. Now in this piece, you have uh, your number one Phillips and your 3 16 uh, flathead slotted right here. A uh, nice little bit uh, right here. Uh, be interesting to see if Milwaukee does offer some replacement bits uh, in the future. Um, I, I like kind of like Klein does. Um, I, I don't think they do as of the time of making this video, but I know Milwaukee is constantly changing uh, and trying to convince more and more people to switch over to the brand. So it'll be interesting to see if they do offer replacement bits. Um, so like I said, this is your Phillips number one and your 316 slotted. And then this is going to be act as your quarter inch nut driver. Uh, you have, you know, quite a few quarter inch nut drivers on the tool. Um, so you're not just uh, limited to just using one side. Now, the one cool thing I like about this 13-in-1 is it does offer these, uh, Milwaukee calls them the ECX bits. Uh, it's basically a square and a slotted uh, combined. Uh, so when you're working with, you know, some conduit, uh, this is, you know, your ECX style bits uh, where you, you can use a... Um, a Phillips on it or you can use use a normal slot on it or you can use the ECX um, style bit on there and you're gonna get a little less slippage than you would with a flathead or just a Phillips uh, that's kind of why I like them and it's nice to see that they did offer it with this um, 13 and one screwdriver now you do get an ECX uh, one and an ECX number two uh, so if you have a little bit smaller of a fastener and it's not you know such a large head on there you're going to be able to use that ECX number one um, and obviously if it's a larger fastener like you know those couplers um, for a conduit, you, you're going to most likely use your ECX number two. Um, so that is pretty much it for that side of the screwdriver right there. Um, we'll go ahead and flip on over to the other side. So you have your 3 ace nut driver. Um, and you have a, a little bit larger of a uh, bit holder right here. Again, it's still going to be the same quarter inch. So if you're using this side of the screwdriver and you need to take a quarter inch screw out, you can use either side of this bit holder right here uh, to do so. Now this side, I did change this uh, the feature of one of these bits up um, from the bit that came with the kit. Uh, and that's this bit right here. Uh, but we'll take a look at this these couple bits right here. This is your number two Phillips and your quarter inch uh, slotted on this side. Um, now this side used to have a square one and a square two um, bit on here, but I rarely run into a square one or a square two, um, you know, size screw uh, doing heating and cooling. So I decided to take that bit out and replace it with one of these Klein bits. Now this is a little small thermostat screwdriver and Klein calls this the Schrader or inspection tool. I just call it the removal tool. Um, I know they have um, another little bit that has um, kind of like a spiral uh, on it for taking out damaged 
uh, Schrader cores, uh, but I have another tool to do that. Um, so I didn't really need that part of it. And I like the uh, little thermostat screwdriver. It comes in handy when you're just doing, you know, a basic um, digital thermostat. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, but, you know, when you run into th thermostats, it's not always going to be uh, flathead. Sometimes it's a number zero, I believe it is. It's either number zero or a double zero uh, Phillips. Um, so I would like to see either Milwaukee or and or Klein come out with a bit that had, you know, the small... Uh, slotted and maybe instead of a Schrader core bit have just the um, have a small slotted and a small uh, Phillips on there I think that would be a pretty cool little bit um, So that is pretty much it uh, For this uh, kit uh, which is you know or for this screwdriver now it is I'll bring in a Klein here it is kind of comparable to the Klein um, It is a little bit longer in length uh, and obviously has two more bits um, than the Kleins uh, typically do have. I believe the biggest multi-bit driver that Klein has to offer is the 11-in-1. Um, they might have a couple other drivers out there that have some more bits stored in the handle and stuff, um, but I, I don't believe that is available in stores. And if you are unfamiliar with what has been going on at Home Depot, Home Depot has been phasing out Klein tools um, and they have been sending the Klein tools really uh, have established themselves now at Lowe's. Um, I'm not a frequent shopper at Lowe's, so I decided to go ahead and try out, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, try out the Milwaukee 11-in-1 uh, to see how it holds up to a Klein 11-in-1. Uh, Excuse me, it's the 13-in-1 to see how it holds up uh, to it. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and decided, you know, I'd make a video on it and show it here with you guys. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to them down in the comment section below. I will also have a link to the product page um, for this guy if you want to learn some more information and or maybe find a retailer that carries it to add it to your tool bag. Uh, with that being said, that's all I have for this video.